apparently Christchurch was voted New Zealand's happiest city. What do we reckon, guys? Oh, of course it's the happiest city. I mean, they got a great food scene, the street art is amazing to look at, and hey, they have you, Taylor. I I'm supposed to suck up, right? That's what you told me to do? Yeah, yeah. Bullshit. If Christchurch is happy, depressed people don't need therapy anymore. We also tested number one per capita for MDMA use across the country. Correlation. Do you want to know why? Ninety vineyards. Ninety. Apparently Christchurch was voted New Zealand's happiest city. What do we reckon, folks? Pies make people happy, and Christchurch has really good pies. Uh, probably because that city really rocks. I mean, after all the earthquake, all that's left is a bunch of rocks. The Naked Baker, Shirley Bakery. Yeah, but Disneyland's the happiest place on Earth, and they let Goofy keep Pluto as a pet. They're both dogs. The Butcher's Pantry, the Riverside Market. Gee, I bet they just asked people who already looked happy. You can't trust anything you read these days. There are so many good pies in this town. How could you not be happy? An American on holiday in Queenstown got in trouble with the police for holding an umbrella like a gun. What do we reckon, guys? He slit the man off with a warning. However, Rihanna's legal team, not so kind. Was the guy who called the police like, Yes, hello, 111 emergency. There's a man with a gun outside. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to give Queenstown its props. No, you don't need to be worried about him. This is just what a lost little American looks like missing 4th of July back home in the United States today. Oh, say. An American on holiday in Queenstown got in trouble with the police for holding an umbrella like a gun. What do we reckon, guys? Interesting story, and it really makes me feel a bit less silly for that time I was going around trying to use my gun as an umbrella. Be honest, was it the Benny Hill or Beverly Hillbilly theme tune playing in the background as this was all happening? They raided the guy's apartment afterwards and found a stash of deadly weapons. Cardboard wrapping paper tubes that he was using as swords. An American on holiday in Queenstown got in trouble with the police for holding an umbrella like a gun. What do we reckon, guys? Hey, scary stuff down there in Queenstown. Well done to the police for responding quickly, and I think we're all just relieved to find out it wasn't a real umbrella. The article also says he was swinging it around like a golf club. I've heard of shooting an eagle, but this is ridiculous. So no shots fired, but the public were very concerned at the significant amount of shade that was being directed their way. And the police didn't arrest him until he set fire to his umbrella, because of course in New Zealand it's still illegal to light up a blunt. Umbrella pun. Things you'll never hear a New Zealand landlord say, part one. What do we reckon, guys? I'm ever so sorry, but you've got 30 days to vacate the property. Because I'm returning my land to Tangata Whenua in accordance with Te Tiriti or Waitangi. Probably like, yeah, I've been doing comedy for about three or so years now. Can landlords just stop saying things? Please. You want to smoke inside? Smoke inside. We've all got our vices. You do you. Oh yeah mate, this place is fucking mint. I would love to move in with you guys. Things you'd never hear a New Zealand landlord say. What do we reckon guys? Part 2. Good news, I've just received my tax refund and I've decided to give you the month off of paying rent. Kia ora. I'm not in the landlord game to make money. I'm just in it to provide housing to those who can't afford it at a fair market rate. Yes, of course. The minute we knew that this house wasn't healthy homes compliant, we just threw money at it. Broken window? Oh, don't worry. I'll get someone professional to fix it, and I won't charge you a thing. This week's topic, things you'd never hear a Ford Ranger driver say. What do we reckon, guys? A school zone? Ooh, I better slow down then. Yeah, mate, just signed up for a defensive driving course. I had a near miss with a cyclist the other day, and... <sighs> those guys deserve to feel as safe as the rest of us out on the road. Yeah, could you just turn the radio up quickly there? I want to hear what Tony Street's got to say. Oh, yeah, fucking oath. I, I know how to give my wife a good time. So I've decided my next Ford Ranger is going to be electric. I don't see the appeal for a three-litre V6 engine anymore. Let my car run off the dreams and happiness of future generations. Yeah, I know how to give my boyfriend a good time. It's progressive. This week, things you'd never hear a Ford Ranger driver say. What do we reckon, guys? So the thing about the Impressionists is that they weren't interested in a photographic representation of an object. Oh man, I just love using my indicators. I can't get enough of it. No, mate, to be honest, I don't have a strong opinion on cycle lanes. Oh, hi. Good-looking EV. Nice. 
I believe EVs can tow, just like I believe climate change is real. Have you heard about this thing called a vegan diet? <laughs> no? Well, you should try it. It's really, really good for you. I've stopped eating all the animal products and I am feeling amazing. What'd you say? Barbecue tonight? No, man, I can't come to that. This week, it's things you'd never hear a Ford Ranger driver say. What do we reckon, guys? Yeah, she's nice and big, but I really dream of a, a Mini Cooper. Wonder what Jacinda Ardern's up to these days. <sighs> I miss her. Not only am I going to use my indicators, I'm going to perform a head check as well before merging. The new Taylor Swift album. No, we only plague Charlie XCX in this car. Okay, look, I admit it. All right. A large part of the reason for me buying a vehicle this big is due to major insecurities about the size of my pink. What are some things you reckon you'd never hear a cyclist say? Part one. Oh, it's getting kind of dark outside. Good thing I've got my high visibility vest and reflectors all ready to go. I welcome the odd car in the cycle lane. It keeps me on my toes. We all share the road equally. When the light goes red, we all stop. I've watched Squid Game. I know how it works. It's hard to ride a bike with such a big Oh. Didn't see you there, car driver. Sorry about that. Nah, nah, I don't think I'm better than all of you, nah. But what do you reckon? Let us know in the comments. Send this to someone who probably needs to hear it and give us a like if you want to see more of us. What are some things you reckon you'd never hear a cyclist say? Part two. She's, she's nice and small, but I just really dream of a Ford Ranger. Ah, a pedestrian up ahead. I'm going to ring my bell now to give them as much time to react as possible. There's a lot of people behind me. I better pull over and let them all pass. Oh my god, you look exactly like your Tinder profile. That's fantastic. Hey, do you want to go for a ride? It's a BMX with double suspension. You can sit on the handlebars if you like. I personally love the seamless blending of car lane with bike lane. I mean, which is it? It's like a little amusement park for your daily commute. <laughs> and my cycling shorts are not tight at all. My butt is breathing fine. And guys, what do you reckon? Let us know in the comments. What are some things you reckon you'd never hear a cyclist say? Part three. Uh, yeah, for me, I'll just have your largest latte. We're having here, but can I please get it in a, in a large takeaway cup? Hey, Mom. Do these shorts make my butt look big? It just keeps it hotter for longer. But also, can I get quarter strength, quarter strength espresso and then the other half? So a half shot, but quarter strength espresso. Oh, a red light coming up. I'm going to stop because I have to follow the road rules too. Quarter strength espresso, quarter strength decaf, and can you do half trim? Oh, I do love a good pothole. I actually quite like it when people drive in the cycle lane. It's just a wee reminder to share, which frankly we all need sometime. So guys, what do you reckon? Send us a like, share us a comment, maybe even send this to your mates and ask them what they think. Can you imagine if William Shakespeare was from New Zealand? What do we reckon that would look like, guys? What car through yonder window breaks? Blue V or not Blue V? That is the question. Do you not know? I am a woman, and when I think I must speak, you're a c Some are born bogans. Others achieve boganity. Gaza, oh Gaza. Wherefore up thou is fucking Gaza? Oh, brave. New world. Oh, it has such people in it. To be or not to be. Yeah, nah, bruh. The first white sir to reach this isle in the year of our Lord 1600, I know what thy native human's necessity and appreciation of mine own cultivation. Theatre. Can you imagine if William Shakespeare was from New Zealand? What do we reckon that would look like, guys? Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your lighters for tonight. We blaze. To thine own local sports team be true. A plague on both your houses. Oh, 
things certainly are heating up this week on the Block NZ. Yeah, na or na yeah? That is the question. My kingdom for a 1996 Civic that can pass a warrant on the first attempt. Shall I compare thee to Wellington on a good day? Some are born great. Some achieve greatness. And others have greatness thrust upon them. To be or not to be is a question I ask myself every day when I'm driving in Auckland. Can you imagine if William Shakespeare was from New Zealand? What do we reckon that would look like, guys? Now is the winter of our overinflated housing bubble and cost of living crisis. The lady doth protest the right amount, methinks. What's in a name? For that which we call a Woolworths would still smell as countdown. Though art is as sweet as hot flat white on a Wellington morning. Doth thy quarrel come? A ute, a ute, my kingdom for a ute. The bros maketh the man. Oh, they haven't finished those roadworks in Kaikoura. Suppose the course of State Highway 1 never did run smooth. There'd be a play called The Merchant of Timaru. Shylock would be an Asian fish and chip shop owner. And the villain Antonio would be a racist demanding a pound of meth. Time to get into your time machines and let's see what news headlines are going to be like in 3024. What do we reckon, guys? And next in science, New Zealand has successfully reversed the extinction of the giant moa. Brought about due to a combination of gene splicing and clone... Hang on, I'm getting something. Oh, and it turns out we already ate the moa back into extinction. Turns out that flesh was just far too succulent. Uh, I'm getting word uh, that New Zealand's population reached an all-time high this year with a staggering 6 million people. Back to you. Remember? The teenager has been brought into Space Force custody after allegedly ram raiding the International Space Station with his 1996 Toyota Corolla spaceship. Time to get into your time machines and let's see what news headlines are going to be like in 3024. What do we reckon, guys? The houses are so expensive. In breaking news, 1,000 years since man landed on the moon, women have now claimed that they have successfully placed them all there. In international news, the effort to colonise Mars is going well. The first four spaceships touched down yesterday in a place they're calling New Christchurch. These first four ships will be kicking off another 2,000 years of elitism and bigotry. They've dubbed the area that they landed in as New New Zealand. Following this, New Zealand will be renamed Old Zealand. Time to get into your time machines and let's see what news headlines are going to be like in 3024. What do we reckon, guys? Good news for those of us who find it hard to emulate human capabilities. A new emotional AI vaccine has just been cleared for human use. It's currently being tested on those of us who can't read past the phrase, I'm fine. This just in, new pronouns discovered, bringing the grand total now up to 420. Timaru has just stopped thanking Jacinda after a thousand years of her passing. And in sports, the Christchurch Stadium is nearing completion with just another couple of months to go and 2.3 billion Bitcoin over budget. <laughs> Won't be long now, guys. Just another couple of months. Oh, amazing performance by the athletes. Now let's turn to the judges and see what their scores are. This year, the finals of the boxing will be held in an arena steeped in the history of hand-to-hand -hand combat. The sidewalk outside the Christchurch bus exchange. And that is gold for the 3000 meter police steeplechase. We don't have much bronze to mine around here, so the third place medals will now be made of iron sand. New Zealand will definitely win the gold medal in fucking the sheeps. The 10,000 meter open air race walk has been cancelled due to sheep on the road. Looking around, we truly have gathered some of the world's greatest athletes here. Which is to say, I don't know, but try hard. Olympic pie eating. 
You coming down to watch the pole voting, bro? Pole voting? Yeah, bro. The pole voting. I've always loved pole voting. Really? Pray when she looks at herself in the mirror. She sees a queen. She sees a goddess. And so we pray. 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 Yeah. Like, forever. Yes, we're back with the 100 meter car park sprint. Contestants must run on the 32 degree Celsius day hot asphalt and get from beach to car. Uh, last year, our representative Jason stood on a stone, so let's hope he toughens the fuck up this year. All the athletes would be given only one thing to eat, that would be mince and cheese pie. A shock disqualification as it turns out the USA did not blow on their pie. Whew. Try again next year, America. The mighty Manu competition replaces previous Olympic diving events. This year's Olympics will only feature women's sports after the host country said, quote, it's our best shot at winning everything. And the gold medal in the men's 200 metre ram raid goes to 14 year old Caden from Timaru. All events scheduled to take place in the Christchurch Stadium have now been postponed until the next time that New Zealand hosts the Olympics. Rabbit culling, possum skinning, stoat chasing, all in the name of Kiwi preservation. Listen, if New Zealand runs the Olympic Games, it's gonna have to be renamed Middle Earth Games, and there won't be five rings, there's gonna be one. One ring to rule them all. Bad news from the speed skating, not that kind of speed, guys. It was more just going, yeah, we got them. All the beds from the athletes this year are actually made from cardboard recycled from the cardboard cathedral in Christchurch. It's nice to see all of that cardboard finally go towards something useful. We're here at the studio of Eden Park. Um, yeah, the opening ceremony, but no one has showed up. Oh, everyone got stuck stuck in the traffic on state highway number one. It's the first Olympics ever to be entirely scored per capita. Because we're good at that. We do that one well. We do that one well. We're definitely seeing a pie eating competition, except it's the Olympics, so you know, you're not allowed to blow on it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be hot. Did you see the news story about the dog that set a house on fire by chewing on a lithium-ion battery? Wait, how are we supposed to eat this then? I'm already having seconds. Tell me your dog thinks you spend too much time gaming without telling me. The Tulsa Fire Department would like to take this opportunity to remind all dogs that chewing lithium-ion batteries is a dangerous habit and we recommend that you go back to chewing tobacco instead. What kind of mafioso dog is this? Next thing you'll tell me they woke up with a horse's head in their bed. So when you get tired of eating lithium ion batteries, come back next week for more. Come back tomorrow for more. They're going to be constantly on. You know how you do that? You follow, you like, you give us a comment of what you like best. Ideally, money would also be great, but you know, that's, that's probably going to take a while. So we'll see you around. Did you see the story about the dog who set a house on fire by chewing on a lithium ion battery? Well, I heard about wanting a light snack, but that one was shocker. I've heard of a hot dog, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Dogs are stupid. <laughs> Dumb bitch. I bet that turned out to be the last day they ever fed the dog late. This unique incident has created a new excuse for kids that couldn't be bothered doing their homework. Please miss, the dog burnt my math worksheet. I swear, I swear. First it's bloody kids with the iPads, now it's the dogs with the lithium ion batteries. Yous all have it too easy. Back in my day the dog used to just play with a stick or a leg of the neighbor's kids. It sounds like you're straining. No, Did you know no, please, that straining can cause a 30% no, chance of hemorrhoids? No. I'm, I'm well aware. Okay. Ah. Tinder added filters for your dick pics? Nice. Dating apps including a prediction of how long the relationship will last. I don't want my chair to wince in pain every time I sit down.
You know, there's something pretty fitting about these new AI nanobots being put on a chip. Pretty ingenious, Intel. Dynamic pricing at BK. If only they knew how much I really wanted that double cheeseburger. Okay, that is the WrestleMania 35 DVD and a set of 20 sided dice added to my cart. Hey, wait, no, no. Oh, it added another flashlight again. God damn it. Wait till AI delves into your true desires. Spoiler alert, it's disgusting. I'm already tired of my phone trying to act like it knows where I want to go every time I start up the car. Seeing the exact impact on your health and longevity of every food before you eat it. Man, I miss the ignorant bliss of just telling myself that Oreos aren't that bad. Sky TV would like to welcome all previous subscribers to their new AI integration system called Skynet. Wait a second. The comment troll bot knowing exactly how to hurt you. Oh, Okay, Google. What kind of AI are you? I try to be a helpful and fun AI. You can ask me for jokes or facts, like, what's the population of Canada? I know the answer. It was 38.7 million I'd even in ask. 2023. Oh, you're so smart. Okay, Google. Well, obviously, you've got to tell me a joke. Here's a witty joke for you. Why did the orange stop rolling down the hill? Because it ran out of juice. <laughs> it laughs now. That's too much. That's too much.